I'm making a VST synth plugin and this is how it looks right now. It has a simple oscillator and a ESR envelope, a filter with three options to choose from and an ESR envelope for the filter. As you have probably seen from the title, this is the first devlog of me making the synth, so there is still a lot to come. The goal of this devlog is to obviously make some interesting content for you and to give you a look behind the scenes of creating a VST plugin. I'm going to try to make the series watchable for everyone, that's why I'm not going to dive deep into the code, but I will leave sources for as much of it as I can, so you can create your own VST synth if you want to. The synth is built on top of the Juice framework for the programming language called C++, which has some pre-written code that helps to speed up the process a lot. Many of the plugins you probably use on a daily basis were made using the Juice framework. As this is my first VST plugin, I didn't code it completely from the ground up. I followed this tutorial from the audio programmer, which explains the basics of making the synth using the Juice framework, which was really helpful. You can copy the code straight from his GitHub, but I recommend recommend watching the tutorial because it helped me a lot with learning C++ and using the Juice framework. After that, I changed the user interface a bit and fixed a few things in the code. I also added this background and custom knobs and faders. You can find tutorials and tips on how to do that on the Audio Programmer YouTube channel as well as on the Juice forum and the Audio Programmer Discord server. I got these custom slider assets from Knobman and made the background myself, but I'm going to get into the UI in one of the future devlogs. Let's go through all of the parts of the plugin. I'm planning to change a lot of them and add new ones, so this is far from the final version. The first part of the plugin is the oscillator. You can choose between three wave types, sine, wave and square. There are two knobs to adjust the FM as well, the FM frequency knob and the FM modulation knob. I'm probably going to add more oscillators in the future. If there are any features you want to see as well, feel free to leave a comment down below. After the oscillator, the audio goes through an ADSR envelope to a filter. The filter can be turned on and off using this button. There are three choices for the filter type, low pass, band pass and high pass. The filter frequency and the resonance can be adjusted as well. The audio goes through one more ADSR envelope at the end and leaves the plugin. That's it for this video, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, leave a like and subscribe to not miss the next devlog.